It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Today on the 202, he's DC's own hip hop star by way of West Africa. Blending music genres and business ventures, Tabby Bonet has always had his eyes on global stardom. Plus, two things I love come together on the 202, classical martial arts films and live DJs. When kung fu fighting meets hip hop, it's called Can I Kick It? It's all right here on the 202. And welcome to the 202. I'm Furman Patterson here with my lovely co-host, Michelle Wright. Thank you, Furman. Over on the turntables is our guest DJ today, DJ Bo. Now, what two guys started as a mixtape blending hip hop with jazz instrumentals became known as Shaolin Jazz. Then, this duo developed their unique creation into a series of live performances across the country and internationally. Here's Gerald Watson and Lester Wallace, AKA DJ Two Tone Jones. Ah, oh, we know your real name now. Got that government. We got that government. Don't tell my job. <laughs> Doing pretty good, pretty good. You know, Two Tone, you look different without sunglasses. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and from behind the turntable. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. Appreciate you having us on, too. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. You you guys did something really special. And as I mentioned, it started out as a mixtape. Mm -hmm. But how did it jump to doing these events all over the city? Let you, yeah. Wow. Um, you know, essentially, we Two Tone and I have been working together since 2001. So. We've always done uh, art shows, live music events, worked at different record labels together. And so um, this challenge Jazz became really an extension of those things that we've been doing, um, just with a different format and more, I would say more focused and it's something that's stuck, you know, essentially. So mm. that's, that's, you know, our love of jazz, our love of hip hop. Um, you know, the, 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 idea, the idea came together. I approached him with it. Um, he said, yo, let's do it. Let's put it together. And here we are. Yeah. Wow, so the influence though of the martial arts, how yeah. did that come into <laughs> all of that? Because this is yeah. all fascinating to me. I'm like, I get the jazz and the hip hop. Yeah. Uh, tell yeah. me about the martial arts. So with the, with the initial mixtape project, uh, which was called the uh, Shaolin Jazz, the 37th Chamber, um, it started with basically a fusion of, or the concept, initial concept was a fusion of jazz music with Wu-Tang Clan. Um, which is, you know, one of the most iconic hip hop groups of all time. Mm -hmm. And uh, both of us are just, you know, fans of not only jazz music just as a genre, but um, Wu-Tang Clan is in our top five of rap groups of all time. <laughs> oh, wow. And uh, for any, any Wu-Tang heads out there, um, you know, people, you know, we know that they would understand um, just kind of our references and things of that nature. So even titling the project Shaolin Jazz is a nod to Wu-Tang. Um, a lot of the members are from uh, the borough of Staten Island, which early on in, you know, in the hip hop uh, lineage, that was always kind of the forgotten borough, you mm -hmm. know? So people would go to parties like, yo, where's Brooklyn at? Bronx is here and <laughs> Uptown, all this. Staten Island. Yeah, exactly, yeah, <laughs> pin drop. So these guys, you know, when they, you know, came to popularity, they, they, um, they really helped kind of put Staten Island out there kind of on the map for, for hip hop. Um, and they, they used to nickname it Shaolin. Um, so when people would reference, you know, Staten Island and hip hop, a lot of times you hear people say stuff like Shaolin. So we use that connection and that group too in terms of their name, where it comes from, and like the artist names, they were very inspired by martial arts films. Um, like a lot of, a lot of us that, you know, um, I would say just that, that loved hip hop and like throughout the 80s and 90s, a lot of folks also used to watch Kung Fu flicks on the weekends growing mm -hmm. up. And so they kind of really brought it closer to the forefront with their music, with the, the lingo, and, and even the name. So the group, the Wu-Tang Clan, that's a name derived from a martial arts film or several films. And even the names of the members, most of them come from characters in martial arts films, from Method Man, which was the name of a mm -hmm. film, to mm -hmm. even Old Dirty Bastard is a character name in a martial arts film. So mm -hmm. yeah. Wu-Tang Wu yeah. in of itself is an actual fighting style, just like Shaolin is a fighting style. Mm. And so they're actually actually like sister villages, right? So that's another way that they 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 actually work together. So Wu Tang and Shaolin, even with some of the films, they'll they'll they're based on 
Wu Tang and Shaolin, mm -hmm. those those fighting styles, those villages. So it all kind of works together that way too. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned doing these events around the city. What, what mm -hmm. was the first reaction from the crowd the first time you mixed those two genres, the <laughs> kung fu movies and and the music? And what did you think about the audience response to it? Uh, I mean, the first time I. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, they, you know, I think people, they weren't really sure what to expect. Just like <laughs> yeah. even with the music, a lot of people just really weren't sure what to expect. And so with that first event, um, it was just an eye-opening experience for people. They're just mm -hmm. really trying to take it in. And even still to this day, like people, you know, when you talk to them about live, you know, creating a live soundtrack using turntables to a movie, you know, people are kind of like, well, that, I'm not really sure, but it's intriguing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the kind of, at least for, for me, what I saw with people looking at it, it, it looked like, you know, they were intrigued, weren't really sure, but then, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes into it, they start to get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure they're captivated. Have oh, yeah. you guys actually gotten to meet any members of the Wu-Tang? Um, <laughs> uh, here and there, a few members. Yeah. And um, yeah, actually around the time we were, I want to say maybe a month before we actually released the, the mi initial mixtape back in 2011, um, uh, Raekwon was in town and I got a chance to interview him and, and even to slide him a little sampler about it. And uh, uh, we've also had other people that we've known just throughout the years who have directly or indirectly worked with Wu-Tang from even tour managers to promoters. And so we've been uh, we've been like one or two degrees of separation away from a lot of members, um, so we know that they know, a lot of them know of the project, um, even on Wu-Tang Clan's uh, like site, social media site, you know, they even like reposted the, the album and things oh, like that, so nice. yeah. we, we've kind of got the unofficial nod from them in, in certain ways, but um, we're, we're plotting and planning <laughs> for like the right opportunity to actually do something with members from the Wu-Tang. I'm curious about the international uh, travel. How often do you guys take this on the road out uh, of the country? And so uh, we, we've been out of the country, um, I would say since 2011, um, between Gerald and I collectively, been out of the country a few times. Uh, but there was one time in particular where we did a, a um, just kind of a dedicated project uh, in conjunction with the uh, DC uh, Commission on the Arts and Humanities. And we were awarded a, a, one of their sister cities grants to go to Ethiopia wow. and um, do some collaborative uh, work <coughs> uh, showcasing Shaolin Jazz. But we also got a chance to work with some local uh, Ethiopian hip hop artists and Ethio jazz artists. Um, and, and it resulted in um, doing some workshops at the African Union, um, which for those who don't know is basically Africa's equivalent to the United Nations. Um, so all, every single country in Af on the continent is represented at the African Union. Um, but then also at the end, we actually did a performance at the U.S. Embassy uh, as part of a uh, kind of a launch party for a new technology center they have there in Ethiopia. And um, we, we for, the kind of for the first time for most people there in the country, we actually brought together some of the hip-hop artists and jazz artists and had them performing together. You guys are doing things. I am thing. so intrigued yeah, yeah, by it was, this. It was great. It was an awesome wow. experience. Yeah. Wow. We'll, we'll stay put. Yeah. Coming up on the 202, <laughs> Kung Fu Fighting meets Hip Hop. It's a unique live experience called Can I Kick It? <laughs> and you don't want to miss it. Stay right here. We'll be right back. It's the 202. 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 Welcome back to the 202. And now, Furman and I share with you what local and international audiences have already experienced with Shaolin Jazz. So while everybody was kung fu fighting on screen, DJ Two Tone Jones has been kicking it with his own live remix score. Here's a sample of Can I Kick It? You all right? <laughs> Let go! Oh! <laughs> 
Fantastic. You know, Michelle was back there. She kicked me. Yeah. She kicked Aww. me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Up next, early on in his career, this former school teacher had his hip hop success in the pocket. Today, DC's own Tabby Bonet has continued to seek new music paths and new careers from here to West Africa. The 202 will be right back in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. And welcome back to the 202. He's been a DC hip hop legend who's worn many hats, including teacher, musician, video director, coffee farm entrepreneur, and even fashion design. And along the way, he's found a way to blend an enriching life in a world of business, hip hop, 
and love. And who are we talking about? Tabby Bonet. <laughs> who wrote that for you all? Uh, I came up with that. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. I see you seem to be all over the world. Yeah, good to be back in D.C. for a little bit. So do you live in the United States? Or I, are you so I live in L.A., D.C., and Togo, West Africa throughout the year. Ah. Wow. Yeah. I yeah. see so many photos of you online. You seem to be having the most fun when you're in Africa. I do. I yeah. do. It's, 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 it's different worlds, man. It's good to just live in different worlds. You, I, when I'm back in Africa, I get a chance to like detach away from the internet and just, you know, be, be with my family and the people. Yeah. yeah. Now, I see you're apparently a coffee drinker. Uh, I, you about know, the family I, I, coffee I, business. I, I didn't start. I just started drinking coffee like six years ago, but only because I realized we just so happened to have a coffee farm. Just so happened oh. to have. My my father unfortunately passed. I knew we had a cacao farm, mm -hmm. uh, and then when he passed, I found out we had a coffee farm, and then um, just decided to you know I wanted to start importing it into the U.S. Wow, so yeah. wow, we can get it soon, in 2018? Yeah, yeah. To, in April I'll be launching online, then I think next year we'll do the first coffee shop in West Africa, Togo, then eventually we'll break out to D.C., New York, Miami, and L.A. Wow. And yeah. you haven't lost sight of the music? No, I, you know, I took a step away from music for a while. Okay. Um, just, you know, just on the journey of life, man. You know, you, you, you do different things mm -hmm. and you, you're somewhere else mentally. But just getting back to it now and uh, attaching more to my roots in, from Africa, because my father was the biggest star in uh, Togo, West Africa. He was a high-life right? Afro-funk singer, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we've got one of DC's biggest stars right here on the stage. So that means you got to do something next, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something. Usually it's with a band from now yeah. on, but just okay. for you all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it on my own. This is my first time performing it. So. Are you wow. serious? Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, coming up next, Mr. Tabby Bonet. When you're feeling all alone Go Get a girl you want to go Oh Faked it on my own Faked it on my own Faked it all night long Faked it all night Faked it on my own Faked it on my own Faked it all night long Faked it all night yeah, I'm crazy just like you. True. All the dreams I had come true. True. I've been low enough to know enough to when I'm down, they ain't coming round. Round. I've been high enough to know enough to when I'm up, I ain't coming down. Down. Last night, I like came off too strong. We just met, but it's been too long. I already got a girl, but I like you more than her. So what's up? Faked it on my own. Faded on my own. Faked it all night long. Faded all night. Faked it on my own. Faded on my own. Faked it all night long. Faded all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. Tell me everything you feel, dear. I feel the same, but we can't stay here. Yeah. You can't hold on when you're already gone. Don't need no one when you got what you want. Last night, I like came off too strong. We just met, but it's been too long. I already got a girl, but I like you more than her, so what's up? All my 
Faded on my fade it all night long. Faded all night, fade it on my own. Faded on my fade it all night long. Faded all night. <laughs> You've got a dance jam with that one. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, Beautiful. Long. Come back again, man. Sure. Come back. What a great show today. Thanks to Shaolin Jazz, Tabby Bonet, my co-host, Michelle Wright, and the students from Virginia State University here with the Exposure Project. And thanks to DJ Bo <laughs> over there and to all of you for watching us. Furman and I will see you again next time on the 202. But don't forget, check out episodes of the 202 on DC Radio. That's at 96.3 HD4 and at dcradio.gov. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is how we do when we party uh, in the 202. Yeah. Hey. Home of that good live music. Come on. Live on set, live audience approves it. Uh. The best hopes that don't get no tighter. Yeah. Herman and Michelle can't get, get no writer. Taxation, no representation. No. But the 202 repping for the capital nation. <laughs> so from 703 to the 301. Yeah. yeah, we all come to have some fun. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party in the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. Yeah. This the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. Yeah. This the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party it's in the, the 202. It's the 202. Uh. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202.